that knot near the tip of the bow literally just pushed out I got a little punch and I was going to see if it needed tapping out but as soon as I just pressed on it out it popped there it is if I clean all that black stuff off it and the black stuff out of the hole it will then be much too loose what I'll do is I'll clean up the hole and just whittle a little peg and glue it in but you can see there wasn't <laughs> there wasn't a lot of wood left yeah. here we go then just to illustrate what I'd said uh, I've cleaned the the knot so I've just taken the loose bark off it I haven't actually removed any wood you can still see it shiny there and I've cleaned the manky stuff out of the hole now if I put the two back together you'll see how it's just a huge gap and would have no structural strength at all so if you bear in mind how crumbly bark is it really illustrates why it pays to clean out knots even smallish ones because on a full size bow at a working part of the limb what would happen is this gap all the way round having no strength would compress and where that compressed what you'd end up with is on the belly side you'd end up with a pinch going across either side of the knot and it would probably be fine but it would effectively be causing a bit of set and you'd have this ugly pinch like a compression crack where it had buckled up so the wood buckles up to close up this gap either side of the this loose pin so you can see it's not even worth trying to glue that pin back in I've got to whittle something a little bit larger there you go I've just whittled a, a wooden peg from an off cut so you can see why it's always handy to keep your off cuts you can see where I've pushed it into the hole and waggled it round it's still getting some dirt out uh, that fits in quite nicely but when I've got some epoxy on there it will slip in even better because the epoxy will act like a lubricant you can see that's how far it goes in at the moment obviously I can't push it in too hard or something with a hammer because it would just split out but on a bigger bow you, know, you, can, you can tap it in put a bit of epoxy on that, glue that in and it will be good to go there and just for the sake of completeness there's the finished plug and for an indication of scale there's my finger I have a slight dilemma with the H bow do I have the limbs like that joined at the middle somehow in which case do I have individual strings coming down joined together there or conversely because one of the bows is slightly curved I could curve them like that space them at the middle and then just have a single string which will save on messing about with strings I'll still have my center shot uh, could be simpler we'll have to see how the mood takes me I suppose a lot to be said for simplicity because with this arrangement or, or do I bridge across the top and have a single string connecting there or what do I do that's part of the fun of having a quick try out and then if I find it works nicely I could always make a better faster quicker slicker version Anyhow, we'll see. That's enough for today.